Face reality, people. Movies are dead. Games are dead. Narrative, dead. Media is nothing but neural trigger response and viral conditioning. Wait, what are you two talking about? All right. So, uh, as we all know already, Nikola Jokic won the NBA MVP this year. But <laughs> Shaq and uh, Chuck, they get heated, according to House of Highlights. They get into a heated discussion about it. And we're going to talk about it. So, here we go. My award-winning broadcasting. Here we go. Wait till he hears it. The 2024 MVP from the Denver Nuggets, mm. Nikola Jokic. And we congratulate <laughs> the Joker, who for the third time is the Kia MVP of the NBA. 26 points a game was number 10 in the league. 12 rebounds was number four. Nine assists was number three. Had 25 triple doubles, second most in the league. 68 double doubles was second in the league. God damn. 31 games of at least 10 assists this year. 23 games with at least 15 rebounds. And Nikola Jokic. Those are crazy fucking numbers right there. Um, Center, yeah. I mean, I know we're in the age of inflation, but still, those are still like gaudy looking numbers. And just on paper, they look crazy. We're in the age of inflation. Let's be honest, it is. Like, well, if we're, if we're being fair, like some of like the some of the um like we we make fun of how like LeBron he gets certain <laughs> um rebounds or but it's not just him; it's the whole league. Certain assists. So you, to be fair, like yeah, you're right though. It is it is kind of inflated. It's like the dollar man. Like a rebound today is not the same as it was uh, in years past. Even though they did have moments like not every rebound is when you're scratching and crawling for your fucking life. But for the most part, guys that were in the paint doing the dirty work getting fucking rebounds, Ben Wallace's of the world and shit like that, they're working their asses off just to get a rebound. More often than not. This era, somebody shoots a three, everyone else on the team is running back on defense before the shot even lands, bro. Before it even touches the rim or the net or the backboard or anything. Yeah. These guys are running back on defense, meaning that there's no one there. And if they if you have a team system where they want someone like Jokic who can pass, they want him to catch the ball and bring it down court, or Luka or LeBron or guys like that, like guess what? Your rebounds are gonna get inflated. It is what it is. And the same with assists, with the scorekeepers, and also three point shots, where it's like you're not like hitting a guy in a, like a, in the pocket with a pass, or on a pick and roll with a pass, or on a fast break with a pass. It's more likely, oh, here comes a double team. Let me swing it to the outside. Michael Porter Jr. is right there, spot up three point shooter. Boom, assist. Or they doubled me, a little lob to fucking Aaron Gordon. Uh, both stats. And the, let's be honest about the scoring, right? I think all the stats there are inflated yeah. bit, considerably. So, but there's still gaudy numbers. Like, well, I'm, what I wanted to ask you, well, all that being said, that you said, which are good points, does 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 he pass the eye test? I was like, oh no, this guy's looking to pass though. He's look, he is looking to yes. pass. Yep. He is an above average rebound, and he does have um it, um unique ways of scoring. I don't think he's an above average rebounder, but he is passing as a big man. I think he's a great passer as a big man. Rebounding, like if you have someone who's solely focused on on keeping rebounds away from Nikola Jokic, like their job is to do that. He wouldn't get his man. Yeah, I agree. He's a product of the of the what the NBA is right yes, now. Yes, I think so. Uh, well hypothetically like maybe he'd work harder for rebounds if you know the league adjusted towards it or the or the, the or the yeah. standard change maybe he would i don't know uh scoring wise he can score he can shoot from all ranges uh he has a pretty good fucking post game as far as moves uh but i think it'd be hard like we saw what happened with anthony davis guarding him like he had trouble with with anthony davis guarding him but pretty sure if, if i'm if my memory's working correctly the threat of that shot blocking, like 
at least put a little like hinder to him just being able to score effortlessly. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. imagine Tim Duncan, David Robinson, Hakeem Olajuwon, guys like that, where like they are focused on stopping you, and there's less fouls called, and maybe in a different time period, where like oh you can play a little bit rougher. You don't have to like just let them like back down, bully into the fucking paint, and he can do like a you know up and under move over and over again. Like well, I'd be curious. Very curious, but he can score. He can pass. I think he can rebound somewhat, but not to like he's some god tier rebounder. I don't think that. I think he does a lot of like tip, tipping the ball in the air to himself. Um, a lot of times you'll see that. Yeah. Just like if there's Ben Wallace there boxing you out, you're not tipping shit, bro. He's gonna move you backwards and grab that fucking rebound and rip it out of your hands if he has to. So, but he's still a, a great player. I think he's a great player in any time period. So, so, hopefully that answered your question. Yeah. And it's just my opinion. But yeah, on paper, gaudy fucking numbers. Congrats to him. Now let's get to the shit. <laughs> get to the shit. Here we go. Claims his third MVP award. Shaq, your thoughts? <laughs> I don't like to rain on people's parade, but I'm not happy with this one. Congratulations to Joker. You are the best bad, big man in the league, but based on everybody's criteria, my criteria, stats, stat stuffer, you guys' criteria, number one seed, which team has a better record, I felt Shea Alexander deserved it because I've been, I've been number two a lot. When I played my ass off, number two, uh-huh. so the fact that he has to start all over next year and try to win it again, I, I, I think it was... I, I, I know it's going to be hurtful for team. him. Hopefully he uses this to motivate him to win a championship. But I thought, and again, no disrespect to the Joker, best big man in the league by far. Uh, you could have went this way, but I, I thought Shea Gilgis Alexander, one of only you know a few players that had 30 points 50 times, stat stuffer, great season. His team is number one. Nobody expected him to be number one. I thought Shea... It was just Alexander was going to win it by far. But it's congratulations great. to Joker. I'm happy for him. Third time MVP. You really can't be mad at this vote. But yeah, the care. fact that he has to start all over next year and, and, and win it over again. Because, again, I, I felt I was robbed two or three times. Now, let's, let's stop it there. Before we get to the, the gossipy shit, let's go to the, the basketball shit. All right, we're going to give you levels to this. First, we ana- like analyze Jokic. Now let's move on to... Who do we think, like, were they correct, or sh- should someone else has won- have won it? Go ahead, Anthony, if you, wanna, if you have a if you have an opinion on that. Um, you know, I'll be honest. I don't really, I don't, I don't, I don't know the top of my head. Shay season, to be honest. You want to look it up? Let me see, because he's like, was he like thirty points? Probably like thirty five and five. I think he led the league in steals, and they were the number one seed. Definitely will be. Andrew, stats. Let's see. Always got to go to basketball reference. Let's see. This season, <clears throat> played 75 games. That's also important to bring up. That's pretty good. 53% from the field as a fucking point guard. Well, he's like a 6'10, right? Point guard. He's not 6'10. He's probably like. Six six or some shit, but he's like a two guard, but he's playing point guard. I'll give you that one. Uh, thirty five percent from three, eighty seven percent from the free throw line, thirty points, two steals, five and a half rebounds, six point two assists. He had a Kobe season basically, but shot higher from the from the field. Once again, inflation needs to be brought into this, but. Those are pretty. Those are really good numbers. Those are really good numbers. So with that, what do you, what do you think? No. It's hard. It's hard to say. It's hard to say he didn't deserve it. But also with the context of Joker has two already. Yeah. The the voter fatigue thing. Yeah, I mean, I would, I would, I would have no, I have no qualms if he got it. I would have had no qualms with it. 
And here, let me look up Luca's next. Just cause. Those were like the top three votes, I think. Oh, dodgy. Yeah, Luca's was there as well. They're going to say it. Who got what in the voting? Uh, let's see. So Luca shot forty eight point yeah yeah forty eight point seven percent from the field, thirty eight from three. Did he lead the league in scoring, Luca? Yeah, he had of thirty three point nine points per game, and nine point eight assists, nine point two rebounds, one point four steals. But would they have like a five seed? How many steals did Gillis have per game? Two. Two even. No, 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 he had, he had two. Yeah, yeah, he had two even. And he's a better free throw shooter. They are almost washed in three points. But, well. And, yeah. and Shea had a better. I mean. Shea had a win. I mean, Shea's 35% from three, but he's only taken 3.6 per game. Lucas taking okay. 10, 10.6 per game. Okay. So that's well, a little. Uh, yeah, it's a little misleading. Yeah. Um. Uh, uh, well, let me say, could you make an argument for either one over over uh, Jokic? Like, is there a better argument that should one of those two should have won it rather than him? I can make one for Shea Gilders. I can't for Luca. I can't because of the seating. Because of the seating only, or. The winning, the winning. Yeah, this... yeah. Winning's a big deal, and to be honest with you, a lot of the winning. I'm not trying to take away from Luca, but that dude Kyrie Irving is a fucking savage, and I'm I'm curious what he averaged in fourth quarters during the season. I'm curious, man. I'm curious if he's near the top of the league or at the very top of the league as far as not just fourth quarter, the second half scoring and fourth quarter scoring because throughout this playoffs. Kyrie's like, oh, I got six points at halftime. I got eight points at halftime. At twenty something, at, at, like, in the second half, like <laughs> that, like for some reason that that sticks in my mind. Like maybe that was a trend during the year, to where like maybe games were won. Like maybe it's half and half. Like where Luca's the main reason or Kyrie's the main reason, versus Shea Gilders, where it's like you're the man of that team, hundred percent. And Jokic, you're the man. Of the, I know, right? Uh, fucking Murray's a uh, definitely a big deal for that team yeah. in the playoffs. <laughs> but the regular season, a yeah. lot is Jokic run, I think. So, yeah, I would, I, me, my personal opinion would put uh, Luca to the side and go with those two. But, I mean, <laughs> you know, Anthony Edwards. Fucking uh, what? J uh, Brunson in New York. Yeah, yeah. Bron so Brunson got less votes than Luca. He didn't get any votes, I believe. Oh, that's crazy. That is that's crazy. crazy. I don't think Anthony Edwards got any votes either. Yeah, that's that's. But Brunson was like, bro. Brunson was like, if if you don't score, we lose. If you don't play good, we lose. That's how that's how Brunson is. For the Knicks, if you play bad, we're not winning. <laughs> Basically, and we saw that tonight, bro. They were down by ten at halftime. Jalen Brunson had to come out of the game in the first. He hurt his foot, right? So he, he sat out like a good chunk of the first half. Pacers up by ten. Brunson comes back. Bro. <laughs> he puts up fucking numbers. He's in crazy shots. He's fourth quarter dominating. Knicks win. That dude deserves some votes as well. They won by nine, right? Uh, I don't know exactly, but they won. 31 21. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Either way, somebody's holding the ball for the clock to run out at the end of the game. There's no last second shots. It's over. These motherfuckers won that shit. And Jalen Brunson is, in my opinion, the driving force of that. You know, And they, they have great other players as well. Like, that are playing, or at least playing great in the great, playoffs yeah. right now. They have great um, role players. Yes, and there's, like, trust with them, and there's, like, an actual team camaraderie happening. It isn't just, you know, Brunson, 
dribble, 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 dribble forever and ever and ever, then chuck up a shot. He'll have moments where he does that because he's like, we need a basket, and I'm the guy, so I'm going to fucking create a basket. Yeah. But a lot of time during throughout the entire game, there's a lot of ball movement. There's, all their players are getting off, bro. Pause. Fucking Hardenstein almost had a fucking triple-double tonight. <laughs> Right, he like he ain't Jokic, but he almost had a triple double, right up. Uh, so yeah, yeah, I agree. Like you can't go wrong with any of these picks. Uh, it, but for me, uh, like if a lot of people did it because of Jokic, maybe people felt Jokic got robbed last year with Embiid, and Embiid seemed like a makeup for the year before that, where people thought he should have deserved it. He yeah, either. Yeah, it's like, whatever. I care, personally, I care more about the playoff MVP, which is which means you made it to the final. Like, it's more definitive. You made it to the finals, and you're the best player in the finals, meaning you were the MVP of the playoffs, where it all matters most. And, and like, I look at Anthony Edwards, right? And it's like, yeah, you didn't score, you know, fucking 35 points per game this season. You scored 20-something, 25. Where it's like, oh, that's pretty good. But like now at this point we're actually seeing your actual impact because everyone's playing harder defense. There's more coaching schemes for, for other teams, and you're playing the best teams, or supposedly the best teams in the league. So this is the real like the finals MVP is actually the real MVP in my opinion. Of like you won the most important games and you kinda at, well, maybe maybe not, because Right, someone could be dominant in the first couple of rounds and then suck in the finals, but or someone could do nothing in the early rounds and then be nasty in the finals. Yeah, nasty. Maybe there should be a playoff MVP. Maybe, which would end up like, oh, you're the finals MVP, but this guy's the playoffs MVP because he he showed up the entire time. Maybe they do that. That'd be more interesting of an award to me. This the regular season shit. Which is important, but I mean, if Jokic didn't have the greatest his greatest season ever, would the Denver Nuggets make the playoffs as I like yeah. a decent seed? Like I, I think so. Maybe not. But then, damn it, man! I'm like running in circles with myself. Pause. It's like, it's like, me, like, what if Shea Gilders isn't there in OKC? Are they there? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. If Edwards is out, is Minnesota there? I don't think so. Yeah. And like, to be honest, like the the, the offense is run ran fucking um Edwards. Even Towns said like, oh, like Towns. Towns used to have like a problem like um stepping aside. Yeah. And letting Edwards like be the focal point and now like he's fully on board with it. Mm. And like they they're now they're a better team because of it. Like dude like you can't run this shit through a power forward who's soft. <laughs> what what do the kids say? Catching strays. Yeah. I mean Yeah, like yeah, you have to the way that guy plays, man, on both sides of the basketball, and like dominant, and he's like willing to be a leader and give to teammates and all that shit. Like, yeah, you got like you got to pass the baton to that dude. Let's be honest. It's it's shown this year. Like, yeah, we should. This guy should be leading us, basically. No, he was, bro. He's only twenty two, bro. I know. That's why you're seeing the, the Jordan shit. That's why you're seeing the comparisons, man. And his game, obviously. Uh, so, all right. There's our answer for... We analyze Jokic. Now we say, like, okay, who do we think should be MVP? I, I'm i honestly kind of lost. I, I I have no problems with Jokic winning it. Shea Gilder should have been there, too. Like, it's a fine pick. Yeah. But it, I understand the point, for sure. Yeah, true. Now we get to the dirty shit. <laughs> oh, what's, what's, I didn't even know what that what y'all was about to say. Now it's the gossip dirty shit. Here we go. Remember that Shaq kept mentioning that. Like, oh, I've been robbed from MVPs before. Just remember that. Oh, uh, yeah. I felt like, yeah, it was a little self-serving. Oh, 
area. Kill just Alexander was going to win it by far, but it's congratulations to Joker. I'm happy for him. Third time MVP. You really can't be mad at this vote, but no, the care. fact that he has to start all over next year and, and, and win it over again, because again, I, I felt I was robbed two or three times, right? And I played <laughs> my ass off. Stat stuffer won championships those years, but again, no but disrespect you, to Joker, but I, I me personally, I would have gave it to Shea. You keep throwing stat stuffer out there. Does no, because that's Nicole, my criteria for does MVP. Does Jokic not stuff the stat sheet? Yeah, but not like he does. A, no, but not no, like no, I uh, mean, Shea. When really? Shea is <laughs> one of confused. the few players that had 30 points in 50 games, yeah. Ernie. Well, like, look at but when you're talking and, about stuffing the stat sheet, and, look at look at all the triple doubles for Nikola Jokic, and look yeah, at his ranks right. in scoring, rebounding, okay, and assists. I don't he, think stat stuffing been, is a is an argument. Okay, here. but even doing all that. OKC was the number one. They had the, they had all they about had, one game. No, Jack. they had no. They had identical That's records. About, uh, okay. It was a it was a division record tiebreaker. Well, that was uh, the separating listen, factor. All this is, is subjective. Man. Yeah, it is. Well, so, and you're and, and you're no, certainly entitled to. Exactly. If you, you can make a case for any of those well, three to make it. And in well, addition I to a few you could, other ones. Actually, I thought you could have made. I, and I've said it before, and I just said I thought you could have made a case for five guys. Sure, without question. Anthony Edwards and Jalen Brunson. I thought. Is it an easy joke if I said Charles was thinking about? Cheeseburgers? Would that be too easy of a joke? <laughs> I'll just Why do you this. say that? Because they they all fucking make fun of each other. I thought someone would would have like maybe said that, but no one said it. I got a case for five guys. Were you hungry, Chuck? Oh shit! <laughs> yeah. well, five guys on some cheeseburgers. Oh, uh, cheesesteak. Oh, you said cheeseburgers. Cheeseburgers. Yeah. Oh yeah. Milkshakes too. <laughs> that area to make it. And in well, addition I to a few could, other ones. Actually, I thought you could have made I, And I've said it before, and I just said, I thought you could have made a case for five guys. Sure. Without <laughs> Anthony Edwards and Jalen Brunson. I thought anybody voted for one of those five, I would have been like, okay, I can understand that. Because every year, idiots get on TV and talk about who's the best player. It never goes to the best player. It goes to who had the best regular season. Well, you know, Shaq said he got like robbed every year. God, God. God. I like Bronson to be high on that list just for that. <laughs> like, to me, bro, maybe he shouldn't have won, but yeah, he should have definitely been in the discussion. 100%. 100%. Edwards, too, for what you said, because they he, they were playing under man. Yes. All right, fucking Mike Conley's doing anything. <laughs> he's, this is why he's getting Jordan compared, because he does it when he like has to. You know what I mean, like, yeah. if you if our team's up by thirty, like he's not going to score forty five points unless he did it early in the game. He's just going to be like chilling, like, all right, I got my twenty something, I'm chilling. But like, if they need it, like he, this dude attacks and attacks and attacks. It's like I like that. It's a good thing. Uh, anyone else should, should be in there other than those five? I think Embiid was on his way there. He got hurt. Who? Cool. And be yeah. Well, I was um, I was talking, I was talking to my cousin. I'm like, yo, what about Tatum? He's like, no, nah, Tatum. He's like, Tatum ain't even a contender. <laughs> I'm like, really? You think because he was right? I guess he was right, but he should be in there. He should be best record in the league. Best player on the best team, record wise. Best he team should 100 percent be in there. They're still the best looked at look as the best team in the league. They're fucking blowing everybody. They're blowing. They blew out. Well, they didn't have fucking Jimmy, but they disposed of the fucking Heat. They just beat the shit yeah. out of Cavs. Once again, not a great team, but they're no, they're, they're doing they're they're what they're supposed way. to be doing. Yeah, they they're the number one seed. They don't have to have a, a tough road. Yeah, they're doing they what they're supposed the to be doing. They beat yeah. the shit out of everybody this season. True. <laughs> So, but yeah, I, I think Tatum would be missing as well. But I guess he's just like, I don't know. They might be just going like, oh, their team's so good. That's why their team's so good. It's not, he's not that much of a factor. He's a factor, but he's not, you know, just some sort of outstanding factor because they have Jalen Brown and Porzingis and Drew Holiday and all these guys and Derek White. Yeah. This is what it is. Waiting for the gossip part. <laughs> Every year, idiots get on TV and talk about who's the best player. It never goes to the best player. It goes to who had the best regular season. 
You know, Shaq said he got robbed. Not every year it doesn't. Well, most of the time. It goes to the guy. Yeah. So, you know, Shaq said he got robbed. I don't know if he got robbed. I got robbed. That was the was baddest Steve, mofo in the league. But it, 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 it doesn't go to the best player. It goes to the guy who had the best record. Well, you season. know what? Don't name the most valuable player then. Uh, no. Uh, well, don't name the most valuable the player then. Well, it goes to the most valuable player in the league. It, that was me. It does most not. Most valuable it player in the league. That's Shea Gilgis Alexander. Okay, let's, well, well, don't name it that then. Let's, well, let's stick it's also, to don't name it that then. It's subjective. Let's stick to this year. Let me give you the results, by the way. Does Shaq have a point? Uh, he said, don't name it most valuable. He's like, it should go to the best player in the league. And don't call it, the, he's like, don't call it the most valuable then. Like, you're the best player on the best team. Otherwise, don't call it valuable. Don't call it most valuable player. Which is like, uh, I don't know. And I think if we look back at it, we'd probably be like, yo, Shaq did get robbed a couple times of being an MVP. Yeah. Like his team was most dominant, and they win the finals that year. It's like maybe that's maybe that should be the thing instead of regular season MVP and playoff MVP. Like I was saying before, just get rid of that and wait till the entire season is over, all of it, the finals and everything. Then you give your finals MVP, and you also give your league MVP. Like you are the most valuable, straight up. Because like if let's say. Let's say you have a player, right, and they miss all the regular season, right? They miss most of the playoffs. They come back for the finals and have an amazing finals, and they're like, wow, this guy, like, carried them to a championship. There you go, finals MVP. But let's say some guy was there the entire season, got all the way to the finals or got close to it or had a good playoff run or something like that. Like, oh, okay, this guy was, like, the season MVP, the most valuable player, like – Without him, this team wouldn't have got the record in the regular season to get the seeding in the playoffs, to get here in the playoffs. Maybe they lost, but it's on that standard, he's most valuable. Now, if there's a guy who was there the entire regular season, the entire playoffs, and was the best in, in the finals, too, like, boom, he's like champ champ, the double champion right there. Finals MVP, league MVP. There you go. So I think they're doing – aren't they doing that anyways? Aren't these guys watching playoff games? Isn't the way the way Shaq feels right now? Isn't that because he sees Minnesota beating the shit out of Denver? And he's like, "Yo, is this guy the most valuable?" But look at Shaq. Like, right? I was wondering about that too. Like, how do they not take that into account? Like, how is a player performing? I, and I don't know, man. Why? Well, I don't. Do you know when these voters vote? At all? No, I have no idea. Either. They have to be watching games. It's like telling the jury not to, like, hey, you didn't watch the Jinx, right? All right. Yeah. <laughs> you could be in this jury. It's the same thing. A little callback right there. Uh, yeah, like, maybe they wait till the entire season's over and take the whole year into context or the whole, the entirety of the season into context. And then if someone outplayed them in the finals, like, yo, maybe this guy's the finals MVP. But you're, like, you know, a big reason why they're here and made it this far or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. Either way, it should be looked, it should be looked over the way they do it, I think. It could fuck up history a little bit. <laughs> or a lot of it. But I think, I think it's worth looking at, at the very least. Now, uh, which I like, yeah, I mean, all right, so Chuck's point was like, doesn't, oh, it doesn't mean the best player, like MVP doesn't not mean the best player in the league, just means you have the best regular season. Okay, I got that. But Shaq's like, then don't call it the most valuable then, because someone, like if your team's getting number one seeds and shit like that, and your numbers are fucking gaudy, like like Shay, like SGA's, like why isn't he getting MVP? But then again, he got. Uh, and if he, if he follows it up next year, you know he's gonna get it. Oh yeah. Which means that's like voter fatigue again, towards like who's actually the most valuable. <laughs> It'll end up going. We're coming. We'll end up coming for full circle. Like yo. 
what, what does this shit mean anymore? So, you know what? I'm as, I'm as confused about this and how to, like, actually determine these things. Well, no. it's... Well, it's like, how the fuck do, the, do these guys who vote determine this shit? You know what I mean? Yes, that's a that's a good question. I, I because it, it doesn't make sense. Embiid won his, right? And then um, Joker won, what, two in a row before that? Mm-hmm. And then, wasn't Curry the, before that? Was it Curry before that? Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't, we don't have to do that. I don't, I don't know. But Joker twice, then Embiid. Then, um, last year it was who? It was Luka? Last year was, was Embiid. Yeah. yeah. And then Joker again. Yep. So, I don't know. It's weird. It's, um, and... Because you, you can make a very good argument um, Embiid wasn't the best player last year. Exactly. Well, people thought that was like a pity vote like because they yeah. felt bad for the year before when Embiid, as far as most people think, he should have won that year before. But they gave it to Jokic that year and they're like, oh, shit, we fucked up. Let's give Embiid this one this year. Well, maybe maybe Jokic actually earns it this year. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. I don't know. But also, well, I'm going to lean into the a little uh, gossipy part of this, just for a little bit. How, how many MVPs does Shaq have? One, two. Is it two? I think. Was it ninety nine and two thousand? How many MVPs? He won it once. Ninety nine, right? I don't know what year. When the fuck did he lose? I think it was either. It might have been 01, bro. Something like that. Those are his best years. 99, 2000, 01. Real quick. He won in 99, 99, 2000. Yeah. Bro, he was like third the next year. He's like third the year after that. He's third the year after that. He's fifth and sixth. Anyone and then, second? Yeah. I'm confused. He might. All right. Here's my gossipy part: is where Shaq might be worried about his legacy, as far as. Uh, <laughs> well, Yoke. He has one. Jokic now has three. Now, who's who's the better center? Let's not lie about this. New age, newer age fan. Like, let's be honest about this. Who's a better center? Shaq is by a fucking mile to me. By a, I mean. Yoga just shortening the gap for sure, but come on, if you've seen Shaq and his fucking bribe, who like <laughs> motherfuckers were like <laughs> they're running the Shaq. Like, Take my daughter, just come to my team. He's like they're throwing daughters at at Shaq. Like please come to my team, please. Like he was <laughs> he was that fucking dominant, bro. He was like some shit we've never seen before, at least like in modern history. I know people talk about Will Chamberlain, but who really like we didn't really see him play. We saw fucking Shaq though. Oh my god. Like who yeah. the fuck who the fuck is stopping that thing? No one. Only Shaq stopped Shaq. <laughs> Honestly. So it's like, is Jokic that? No. Not even fucking close. People want to talk about Shaq as an offensive machine. Like, yeah, he go crazy offensively, right? Like no one can stop him. He's gonna he's gonna score. But people forget about the fucking three blocks per game, the 2.8 blocks per game, the 2.5 blocks per game for seasons. Like, that's also crazy. So, all, like, all-time all time GMs, they're going to pick that fucking guy in his prime. Like, forget about it. So it's like, yeah, Jokic has one MVP, or, or Jokic has three MVPs as of, as of now in this era with the inflated stats. And Shaq had his in the 2000s, in the like, late 90s, 2000s time period. He has his one MVP. But let's be honest about this. The three-peat? Yes, Kobe isn't a gigantic factor in all of that. But Shaq is a gigantic factor as well. Especially in the early ones, right? So, <laughs> I'm sorry. Jokic is going to go down like, who's... Like, if they do, like, something and, let's say, Jokic wins 10 fucking MVPs, 
who, who, what center has the most MVPs of all time? You know, the most valuable player award? Yeah, that well, one. Well, Jokic has ten of them. Well, I'm going to bore the fans, bro, but it's like, um, talking about a sport no one gives a shit about. But it's like when we talk about Mike Trout and his war. Exactly. Which is like, which war, like, to explain what war is, war is wins above replacement. I think they have it in the NBA, too. And it's probably similar for Jokic in the NBA, which is his, your war is, is graded on your, um, your peers at the time that you play. So Jokic's, uh, oh, Jokic's war would be better now because his peers, meaning centers, are nowhere near the, the caliber they were when Shaq was around. Exactly. So it's almost like, yeah, like he's, like you, like we're saying, um, there's clearly like in the eyeball test is looking at, at Shaq, you're looking at Jokic, it's like, put these guys in the room at their peak, who's, who's going to get fucking shit on? It's going to be Jokic. <laughs> And so, um, it'll, it would also translate, like, if you were to swap them. If you put Shaq, now dude, Shaq scoring 60. <laughs> if no he wanted to, him. if he wanted to, he could score 60, bro, if he wanted to. Yeah. It was it, 45 easy. It'd be there. The only one stopping Shaq in this era yeah. is, is Shaq and the refs. That is it. Yeah. No one else is stopping. And maybe the league, if they come up with new rules for him, they're like, wait a minute, who's this guy? We can't do this. Let's change the rules around to what you're allowed to do. They're, otherwise, no one's stopping this fool in this era. No fucking chance. No chance. When I talk about like finesse centers, there's a guy named Yao Ming who was way taller than Jokic, who could pass, who could shoot mid range jump shots. Right? He was a finesse fucking center. Can't do shit with Shaq. He had some good games. Like, he could score offensively a bit against Shaq and Juliet, but he ain't stopping Shaq. Not a fucking chance. He also, for his, like, size. Well, you say the same thing for Jokic, where it's like they're very durable yeah. for their size. They're built, they're built to last, pause. But yeah, they're built to last. Yes. He's like you a massive human. <laughs> but yeah, and he would bully this guy. He would bully Jokic. Uh, Jokic had no fucking chance. Not a fucking chance in hell. Yeah, he bullied bully Rudy Gobert. Oh, he oh, good God, he'd cook. He'd cook him too. It's not. It's. This, I'm sorry. This is just not even fucking close to me. It's like the gap is getting wider as we're arguing about it. Like, sorry. <laughs> o- offensively, offensively, none of these fools are touching Shaq. Sorry. Now, defensively, Shaq is still better. He's still better. Shot, he, shot blocking, he's, like, he's better. Yeah, if he's fit, yeah, he's better. Like, forget about it. Like Dwight Howard, but like bigger. <laughs> bigger. bigger. Bigger, more muscle. Yes. Impose, like, literally, like, imposing, bro. Like. More post moves. Like, forget about yeah, it. Yeah, we forget that shit, dude. Thank God. Get a little, get a little hook. Uh, you know what? I feel Shaq's pain. I get where he's coming because he's like, don't call it MVP then. Like, Shaq should have won more yeah, MVPs. Yeah, I've, heard my whole life. I've heard Chuck talk about that shit. Like, oh, look at these guys making his money and shit. Like, yeah, like, you're a better player than they were, Chuck. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. I think I so. Understand. I understand. <laughs> oh man! Please, uh, oh, like Jokic. swap Draymond and Chuck, bro. The Chuck would be oh. thirty. Oh, oh, he's a better shooter too. Oh fuck! Man, Chuck would be the fucking man of the gold. Fuck Curry. <laughs> he's going through Chuck, bro. Chuck scored right. 30 by default. Like, if they stop, if they're like, fuck, Steph Curry's going to shoot a three. Clay's going to shoot a three. Let's go guard them. And you leave the lane somewhat open for Charles Barkley. He's going to yam it down your throats. Pause. Maybe no pause for that. Like, he's going to dunk all over your fucking team. Like, forget about it. Forget about it. Uh, but the motherfuckers, like, they don't, like, they didn't see these fools at all. Like, ever, apparently. 
My no. God. But yeah, I, I feel Shaq's pain. It is what it is. He should be. People are gonna put Jokic above him, like especially younger people, because like, look, bro, he's averaging almost a triple double. They don't they don't take inflation into a factor with it. It's like, <laughs> but as far as like centers that dominate the game, like forget about it, man. You have a you have a puncher's chance against fucking Jokic. You have no chance against Shaq. Prime Shaq on the Lakers. You have no chance against that guy. Like, good fucking luck. You better be Ben Wallace, man, or some shit. <laughs> Uh, you better have a fucking giant fucking six nine yokester. Fucking he, he, he fucking forget about it, man. Nails for breakfast, like that's kind of low. Fucking you throw a little bit like that at Shaq. Like, I don't know. Fuck. Fuck. Who you want? <laughs> I don't even comb my fuck my hair. I don't even comb my hair, bro. <laughs> yeah, dude, 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 dude hasn't put deodorant on in three years. <laughs> <laughs> Got cornrows on his armpits and shit. <laughs> bro, this fool wearing headbands is like like bicep bands and shit like that, bro. Yeah, <laughs> Yo, how big are your fucking arms? What the shit? Like, are you real, man? But yeah, all right. That was the gossip portion of this. It, it's Shaq has a point, especially like the career he lived. And if they're gonna start, they're gonna start putting Jokic above him in in the history books. He respects Tim Duncan being put ahead of him. I think Shaq respects that because he knows what Tim Duncan is like to play against. He knows what type of player he is and all that shit. But when he sees Jokic doing fucking twirls and ballerina moves in the paint and just scoring buckets. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck? I had motherfuckers like stabbing me as I'm trying to dunk a basketball. Like, Dude, literally, like, they're holding on to his back and shit. Like, stop him. It's two different games, man. Two different games they put. And yes, Sha- Shaq's better than Jokic. Sorry. He's a better player than Jokic. But, all right, I'll leave it there. Uh, Interesting segment, interesting topic. Who's your MVP? Tell us in the comment section. Yeah, do it. All right, end of the video. Thanks for watching.